Hi everyone, welcome back again to my YouTube channel, Natural Living by Inovi, where I show you how easy it is to prepare your favorite meals with healthy options, driving directions around Jamaica, self-care, home care, and so much more. My focus is always on a healthy lifestyle and discussions on how to maintain a positive mindset. Remember to like, subscribe, share, and comment. Subscription is free, so all you need to do is press that red arrow at the bottom of the video. This is cornmeal pudding. It's really nice and soft. I don't make dry out cornmeal pudding. See, nice and tender. Mm. Okay guys, so we just added three cups of cornmeal. We're now gonna add some all-purpose flour. We're gonna add a half a cup. I'm going to add a teaspoon and a half cinnamon powder. I'm going to add one teaspoon nutmeg. Another nutmeg. That was just a little piece left over. This thing is called mace. And if you go to Grenada, you'll see where they use a lot of this. They actually grind it up and use it just like nutmeg. That's what mace is. This is salt. We Jamaicans love to keep salt in different bottles. This is my coffee bottle. Not one and a half teaspoon. This is one teaspoon. This is a half a teaspoon. So I'm gonna show you something that I use to make it very delicate. Growing up in the country, I don't think we used to use um, there are times when I didn't use baking powder and the cornmeal pudding would be a bit hard. So I think this gives it a nice fluffier taste, more delicate taste. Let's see. I'm trying to add some lumps in there so it, it won't get a very even. I use this. A 
very smooth top when I'm measuring it out. Oops, half a teaspoon baking powder. And stir this up with a whisk. Okay, I'm gonna measure. This is um, coconut cream. It's 50 grams. So I'm gonna measure to see how much 50 grams of coconut cream is. So it's about a three quarter cup of coconut cream. So I'm gonna use a cup and a half of water because I need to make it up to two cups. So So this is about uh, three quarters of a cup. So I'm gonna use a cup and a half. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna mix the whole two packs of this. I'm going to add another half cup of water to that. Mix this up. I need two cups of coconut cream so I'm gonna take off the extra Okay, I'm gonna get my sauce on a big pot, one with a thick bottom. Okay, don't mind the color, it's because I boiled water in there, even though I scoured it, it still was a bit discolored. But it has a nice thick bottom, so I'm gonna pour the coconut cream and add three more cups of water. Two cups. Three. Three cups. Two teaspoons vanilla. A 
خب من هم خب شبا رانش شده لکیز رانش One cup of raisins. And I'm gonna wash this. Okay, I'm gonna use a half cup more of the cream. Or you could just measure out, um, get the coconut cream in your tin or make your own. Half cup of water. Tablespoon of sugar. I'm gonna mix this. This is going to be the topping. I'm going to add just a little bit of cinnamon in there. About a quarter teaspoon. Or less. Mix this up. This is for later. Two ounces of butter or margarine. I'm going to use half one ounce of butter and one ounce of margarine because butter is very expensive. Okay, I'm going to let this heat on a medium heat, not boil, just heat, and as soon as it starts to the butter starts to melt, I will um, start to add the cornmeal gradually. So let me dissolve the sugar. Okay, I'm gonna grease the dish that I'm gonna bake it in. You could use a cake tin or a Dutch pot, but because this has a cover, I can put it in the refrigerator and let it stay covered nicely. So, putting a lot of butter because I want the edges to be nice and crispy. Our margarine. Okay. Okay, the butter is starting to melt. Some people would just use a straight cold method, mix everything together and put it in the oven. But when you do it like that, all the cornmeal drops to the bottom and then it's very hard. So here you get a more homogeneous mixture, that means a more even mixture throughout. And you get a much lighter and softer cornmeal pudding. That's why some people don't like cornmeal pudding because it can be a little dry if you don't cook it the right way. So they, they would prefer sweet potato pudding, but if you know how to cook the cornmeal pudding properly, if you do this method, you will get a more delicate pudding.
Okay, it's a little warm now. And hot is warm, not too hot. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna gradually add the cornmeal mixture. I'm gonna use a whisk and whisk it in. Mm -hmm. It's warm up a little bit. I did a quick um, temperature test with my finger just quickly to see if it's too cold. I'm going to let it warm up a little before I add any more cornmeal. And you don't want it getting too hot either because then it will be harder to uh, mix out the cornmeal and you will get lumps in it. These little bubbles start to form, you have to be careful because they will pop and burn you.
Oh, let me rest my hand. That thing can hurt your hand, you A lot of work. And don't let it stick on the bottom of the pot. As soon as everything comes together, I'm gonna turn off the stove and put it in the baking thing because I don't want it to stick. So I turn it on very, very low. We used to cook something like this in the country and my mom used to make it just like this and we eat it, we let it steam longer and then we eat it without baking. Got it from cornmeal but this is just, this was the sweeter version of cornmeal. And we have the savory version. Okay. You don't have to let it cook because it's gonna cook in the oven. So that's what I want everything to come together. So I'm gonna turn off the stove now and just finish mixing it up properly. Guys, my hand hurting me. You can do a smaller batch, which will be easier for me. Alright, ready to put it in the container now. Okay, as soon as you finish anything, you clean up your stove. This thing is hot and it's actually it feels like it's melting the spoon. It is so hot. Let me get a metal spoon. Nothing is as hot as a cornmeal burn. Cornmeal pies have a pop and burn in it. You don't want that. I have to use a metal spoon. This thing is so hot. I can pour everything one time. You can make it thicker too, but I don't want it to take too long in the oven.
can see you don't want the pot to burn so the bottom of the pot is cool sorry the bottom of the pot is clean so if it if you had cooked it too long it would start sticking You don't want it to get too cold either because it will take longer in the oven. So. I'm just going to add just a little of the topping right now. I'm going to make it bake first before half bake before I add all the topping. Because if you add too much now it's going to soak into the thing and not form that little gel on top which is what you want and then it's like a jelly on the top this makes it easier to smooth it out So I'm going to put it in the oven now. Put it in there for about bake at 350 degrees for about I'm gonna start with 25 minutes first and I'm gonna stop and put on the topping and then we'll go again. Okay, we have gone about 20 minutes in. I'm gonna add some of the topping. So I can do this without burning myself. Okay. Put some about a third of it in this measuring cup. a little careful of the oven on your fingers
So I'm going to put it for another 20 minutes. Okay, this is how it looks after another 20 minutes. I'm going to give it another 20 minutes before I add any more topping. This is cornmeal pudding. If it's really nice and soft. I don't make dry or cornmeal pudding. Nice so once again cornmeal. thank you for watching my channel remember to press that mm. red arrow at the bottom of the video and to continue to watch there is also a link at the end of each video so you can watch that video which is linked or you can just search i also to find what my other videos are and remember to check out my cooking videos and to subscribe share comment leave a nice little comment like good video or if you want anything else to be shown or you want to add any information in the comment section please feel free to do so so i really appreciate you for watching my channel have a nice day bye